script editor and the Zeph IR. Um, this is going to be the section on how to do the Apple scripts for your particular your your particular purpose. So the script editor is located under uh, your Macintosh hard drive, applications, Apple script, script editor. Um, so go ahead and open that up and just in case you didn't know where it was and the Zeph IR application. So let's open up the Zeph IR. Up in the, you can't see it right now, but uh, under Zeph IR edit, there's a script recorder and you can also get to it by hitting Apple R. And what you end up with is this little script recorder and you hit record and stop and you basically get this fire Zephyr command play of component JVC VCR for the sake of clarity wh how I got that fire Zephyr command play see a little blue button next to the mute if you click on that button that sends the signal out now we'll continue with your regularly scheduled program already in progress so, just dead simple, right? So, what do you end up with? You end up with, um, you need to add just a little bit to it. So, let's go into one that I've done recently. Let's do VCR pause. So, all you have to do is just tell applications, FIR, to fire that command and tell. Dead simple. There's nothing more to it. Save this into a folder in your desktop somewhere because you're, once you're done recording all these scripts and testing them you're gonna have to move them because there's you can't save as and select the folder because it's in packages so at least that was my case anyway so I wasn't able to do it so once you've gone through all your scripts and you saved them all done all that stuff then you'll be ready to implement all these scripts and it's intuitive, so you don't have to sit there and record all of them to figure out what the commands are. You just have to give them simple names so you can just change the scripts accordingly. It's pretty simple to go through and just make all the adjustments that you need to do and just save each one as something with a different name. Just remember your naming convention because you're going to have to implement this in the page. That's basically it for the Apple scripting.